Hey guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys how my hair looked before. It was short and blonde, like this. Um, and I'm gonna show you how it turns into this, yes. So literally I went from seriously short blonde hair to like this super long goddess locks. Um, I've got a simple method and I'm gonna show you guys how to retain your edges. And yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I might as well just quickly show you guys how I get um, my goddess locks and how I redo it. And I've got really, really short blonde hair. Um, so I just thought, let me just quickly record it and show you guys how I do it. Um, I literally just did this one, this one and this one. Um, but I realised I might as well just do these three as well. Um, just so the front looks a bit more neater. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys how, like, my method and how I do it. Um, yeah, so I just need to redo it because, like, the roots, you're starting to see the roots. And obviously it looks more, like, it looks more real with that. But I kind of like it when it's, like, onto the scalp because I just, yeah, I don't know. It's just my preference. So... What you're going to need is a lighter, um, you're going to need scissors, um, you're going to need, I use curly crochet hair, um, I'll try and find it and I'll put the link in the description box, um, and I also use soft and silky, um, the Afro natural one in Koyo Kalon in color 30. So this is what you guys are seeing now. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. You're also going to need yarn. Okay, so let me just cut some doing. See, can you guys see that? I don't know if my hair's grown or um, it's pulled. I recently did this. So I'm just going to leave this one alone. So we're just going to start with this one. So I'm just going to cut it. So yeah, I've just taken the um, yarn out. And as you can see, I've got like a build up of dirt. Um, the white bit, okay, this might be quite difficult to see. But my hair is blonde, like the ends. But like right in the middle, I've got a build up of dirt. And sometimes when dirt is built up, because obviously I used to, I would like slick my edges. And sometimes um, the gel, when it like clumps up, it kind of sticks to the hair and it becomes like all clumpy and sometimes this can really 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 ruin your edges because um when you like comb it out you see your hair fall out with the gel so i don't know i don't know if i came up with this method i don't know but what i do is i just put water in it because obviously when you put water and gel together it kind of loosens and then it becomes kind of like sticky and literally, um, your hair just becomes wet and literally you don't lose hair at all. So I'm just going to quickly rinse my hair with water and I'll come back. Okay, so I've just taken it out and now it's all puffy and curly. Just so you keep your edges. Listen, edges are fragile. You want to try and keep them. So you get your yarn. What you do is you get your yarn and then, so it's about this long. And then you cut it. You cut it at the bottom. So it looks like that. And then you do the same with another loop. Make sure you have a lot because obviously this is a whole head. This head, it took me two days to do. So you're just going to do that a couple of times. Um, so you get, try and do four strands. I do four strands, right? Yeah. So that's four strands of yarn and I literally just cut it in the middle it's really easy but it's just time consuming and tedious so try not to do this by yourself because you'll get bored and you get agitated but yeah so you've got two parts now so what you do is you just literally loop it into two it's basically um what's it called it's basically single plaits single braids but obviously single braids i don't think it would be it can't like hold on to my hair so i have to use yarn so 
everyone has their own techniques with braids with single braids but i find my own and this is just the easiest way i do it grab everything you need this is all i'm using you're gonna get the nucleus of the yarn like the middle bit the source of where it all began and then you're gonna like literally put the nucleus why do i keep calling it that um on top of the hair on top of your hair and the middle bit now acts as though it's your hair um and then you're just gonna grab it all including your hair grab it all including the yarn and the hair i really don't know if this makes sense but you're gonna remove the other two and then plait this is my method of doing it this bit you want to do tight because this is what holds your hair and the main braid together you want to make sure this is tight and you basically keep on plaiting and you keep on plaiting now the reason i use yarn is because the texture is so good um it keeps the hair literally so intact like so brilliantly well um you don't want to do it too tight because the tighter you make it the thinner it is so you just want to like give it body you give it body by loosening your plait does that make sense so loosen your plait as you get to the bottom and it becomes bigger i don't know if yeah so just loosen it and then it becomes a bit bigger see see how this bit is thinner because it's tighter and then this bit is chunkier because it's looser so you just want to keep doing that but you don't want to do it all the way to the bottom make sure you don't do it all the way to the bottom when you get like to this point leave the end like this this is the crochet hair we're gonna use this you're gonna pick one and then turn it over and then literally just watch what i'm doing like that and then you just braid it in yeah so it's like you anchor it and then you just braid 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 and then you get one of the long bits tie it around your finger and then make a loop and make a knot pull it and that secures the end get your scissors and you kind of just want to cut cut the excess cut it all chop it all off with like the small hair that you attached so now it looks like this right then you're gonna get your soft and silky hair and what I would advise you to do is do not make it tight on your edges like don't make it tight because if you make it tight your edges are gonna they're gonna go so you just want to place it like onto it and then get your finger and hold it down and then hold on to it and do not make it as loose make it really loose because this is actually what hmm, your edges will go if you make it really tight i'm telling you your edges will go so it's really loose at this point nothing is tight at all so you keep on holding it down and you just twist and twist and twist still not tight and there's no tension like it doesn't hurt at all on my head keep it going keep it going what you want to do is obviously this still exists and this is what you see now you kind of want to keep it going but then you want to bring it back up so you kind of just you need to make this bit so tight because when it unravels it unravels but you need to make sure it's so tight if you're to let go like it'll still be do you get what I mean it'll still be the same so that's it I'm gonna kind of just turn it over with your fingers and for extra security I get a lighter that's how you do it guys my goddess look is done so this is a close-up of how short my hair is um this is it washed 
washed out my hair is natural um, so and it's bleached and blonde <laughs> So when it comes to situations like this and the braid stops like halfway what you want to do is keep keep on braiding like i said before if it's tight enough it won't unravel just the end will look like that so you get another extension and then because you kind of had to measure it according to how much you would need so i probably need half of this so i'm just gonna cut it like maybe even less yeah just a little bit less so i'm gonna use this right so half of the yucky and what you're gonna do is anchor this bit at the bottom like that like that and then you hold it all together and then you hold the the first extension as well and try like i said before try and make it tight so you don't see the blue because sometimes the blue will just pop and be like hello nice to meet you but i don't really want to meet you blue so you kind of want to just hold it together and just keep it going and it should be seamless it should be seamless yeah just like this yeah I've got that freshly I just freshly did my hair um, forehead <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna quickly sort out my edges I use a traveling toothbrush for my edges so I use eco styler this is the massive one I've had it for like I think it's coming up to two years or is it a year of its time I'm not really a big fan of this one in particular because it does leave like white marks and i'm not really a fan of that so yeah so like i said i use a traveling toothbrush um for my edges because they have softer bristles so they're not that harsh on your on your hair whereas some of them like you're like scraping your skin like it's not cute so yeah so i just dip it inside yeah basically i don't add too much because like i said again if you add too much then that's when the it starts clumping up and then it starts going into the hair and then you have to redo the front like how i had to do so literally just bring them out I don't know how that looks but we're gonna leave it and then you want to get like i use a satin a satin scarf okay guys so it's been about 10 minutes just gonna take it off 
and yes neatness neatness can you guys see that obviously my hair is really light so you, you can barely see the baby hairs it probably looks more evident in real life than on camera and especially with this silly lighting so let me just quickly show you guys how it all looks all together now that it's all done yeah i think i'll do a video on how i style them yeah like different styles i do sometimes i bring the curls to the front and like it just looks super cute but yeah um but yeah that's it um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you really really like it don't forget to subscribe and comment ask any questions if you want um follow my instagram and yeah i'll see you guys later bye so yeah guys this is how it looks in better lighting um yeah let me show you the back oh oh the oh yeah that's how it looks that's the length sorry don't watch my room but yeah that's the length and yeah the edges see um so what i do is just make sure you remove these about every two to three weeks so you can retain your edges because trust me girls this can really yank out your edges but hopefully my method has helped you and yeah don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys. Bye.